What is going on guys? Today we have got Future Stars Mudrik. He is the five star, four star, newly transferred to Chelsea and straight into the Future Stars promo. He is at the minute extinct at a million coins. Whether he stays like that, I don't know, but he has had a nice upgrade on that skill move and in general he's gone from a 74 all the way up to a 90. It's the best bit about Future Stars is that these cards are not usable in, in any sense of the way. Maybe Silver Stars at best, but you're not getting the best out of them. In terms of upgrades, as we'll show you at the overall of the review, if I can find where my mouse is, he has had a plus 6 on pace, 23 on shooting, 20 passing, 12 dribbling, as well as physical, and 6 defending. We have got finesse and flair on him, which is always perfect. I'm interested. Oh, he did. He had flair already, so they have actually added the finesse shot on him, which is really, really nice. I do like when they add them traits because it doesn't necessarily make a massive overall difference, but it is nice that they are adding something that clearly has some sort of purpose in the game now. We have obviously got some very good stats throughout. Composure could do a, uh, be in a little bit more, but I normally find that with future stars. They give absolutely everything but nothing on the composure. And unfortunately, there is not a lot we can do with that. Composure is the only one that just physically cannot be upgraded in any sense. So I'm interested to see what this card does. I'm expecting him to be very, very top end in that uh, kind of end of the field. We'll get him on the free star and let's see what he can do for us. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast and reliable, but at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Let's see what we can do with him. In fact, I don't know if this person's even playing. It looks like he's not, so we're just going to get a cheeky free goal. Oh, <laughs> okay, we were going to get a cheeky free goal, but Ramsdale has a different opinion. Oh, I think we're playing now. Let's get a bit on him then. Let's see what we're going. He might have uh, been stopping as we see. Lovely dribbling from Mudrek. He's going to try and find his way in. There it is. There it is. Get that little, little bit of a skill. Find it in. If we can. Across goal. Oh, and nearly to Mbappe. Into him on the wing here. Going to get a good turn. Acceleration. A little bit slow on that side, but I feel like it was movement. It feels a little bit slow gameplay just regardless, to be honest. I don't know if it's me just thinking this, but I feel like they definitely missed out on an opportunity to make this guy a 5-5. The fact that this more than likely will be the highest rated card he will get in FIFA 23. Maybe a foot is at best if he does really, really well. I know I've seen clips from his first game and he did absolutely incredible so it'll be interesting to see where he kind of goes from there but the five star five star if this is the best version would have been an absolute prime op option to give him that he's not going to get any more cards so i don't understand why not i feel like he's off sidetrack that is no he's not he's absolutely missed out on a hounder Ramsdale again he needs to be putting that in the in the top corner and i don't know if this is where potentially composure could be a massive factor Big bang. Oh, but he finds the net there. That's what we want to see from him. Doesn't get the standard finesse, but gets an absolute rocket on the near post. He can also be obviously a left wing cam or left mid. So he's got a few di uh, different useful positions here. Going to try and cut that in. Goes for the finesse this time again. Ramsdale at full stretch. Lovely ball down. He's Dribbling wise is, is good. We've got the five star. That's beautiful. He really brings that tackle in there. Don't know if we're going to get this one back. But I do think a million coins. I don't see him being extinct for very long. Maybe a little bit. But Alvarez as the most expensive future star is currently coming in at two mil. And I think he's slightly dropping as we speak. So it'll be interesting to see where Mudrik does kind of go. I feel like just because he is almost that new hype man at the moment. Can we get that dribble off? He is the new hype man for Chelsea. Everybody is giving him absolute glowing reviews. So it'll be interesting to see what that sort of price does because of the hype. But a million coins, I feel like, is a little bit too expensive for a card that we've got... Ooh, good shot. We have got a lot of left mids. We've got so many from, obviously, just team of the year, uh, team of the year in general, as well as multiple promos. So it'll be interesting to see where he does kind of land. 
And if you are feeling very lucky after obviously team of the year, you can actually get a lot of these future stars in generic silver upgrades, purely for the fact that their base version is, for instance, like Mudrek, a 74. So technically, you can always get these players in their lowest version pack. So if you've got a, say Mudrek was a, oh, that's a good goal. If he was a 64 bronze, you could technically get him in a bronze pack. That is obviously how it works. If you've seen gold in forms from bronze packs, that's exactly how it works. So if you did a bronze upgrade, which gives you silver rated players, anybody with a silver version before their future stars, that is if they haven't been upgraded, I don't think anybody has, they will be obviously in that pack as well. But don't say that they're very easy to pack because you'd probably have more of a chance packing a team of the year than one of them in a silver pack. But it most definitely has been done. We've seen team of the seasons and we've seen plenty of top rated players actually have been packed. I think Alanga was last year. Good ball in, but no end product. A little bit of juggling going on. Can we find the shot? Oh, he does it. Left foot across goal, and that is where the four-star weak foot comes into uh, absolute play there. It's a beautiful strike from him. Down the wing if we can. Roberto Carlos finding that left foot. It's beautiful. Can we get a bit of pace on Virgil? Virgil is just, his team of the year is absolutely joke-worthy. Finds it into Mbappe, going for near post, which Campbell absolutely covers. We try and find him back. We was looking for Mudrek. Little bit of a skill, little flick, lovely little bit of dribbling. Ah, we just tried a bit too much. The left stick's very nice on him, though, I will say. The five-star skill's big tackle is uh, coming in absolute clutch here. You just know the switch of the movement is so powerful if you can do it right. You've literally got so many options to just keep going forward and just constantly bring in the ball. It's always nice to have a winger that can do that, especially if you are playing a very more balanced formation. I personally like a 4-4-2 and the winger's bringing it forward is absolutely crucial because it just gives so much more room for the strikers to do something. Going to run off again. We're going to try and cut in on the inside. Keeps the ball nicely. I didn't know if we might have won a foul there. But again, even body strength is doing really, really well for him. So far, I think definitely a cracking card. One of the better ones I can imagine you would find in the future style. It'll be interesting to see who makes it into Team 2. And that is an absolute worldie to finish your hat trick off. Over to him. Get a big chest. Little flick off. It's nice. Going to try and... You can almost just see the play. He's obviously trying not to overcommit too much. I knew Campbell. Campbell's such a good centre back if you just keep him put. Pace wise, not really going to be there, but in general, in terms of defending, imagine. Oh, imagine just seeing it. It's a beautiful 4 for him. Absolutely on fire today. Finds him in here. What can we find? He's got somebody onto a second yellow with obviously his. Little bit of skill. Oh, Campbell. Yeah, Campbell's brilliant. Anybody with high defending, if you get him into the corner, make sure you're passing it out. Unless you are absolutely godly at skill, it's not going to end well for you. They're going to get the tackle eventually. Like I say, unless you know literally five-star skills off the top of the brain and you know full well which way you're going, it just isn't going to work any other way. As we find him with one more, cut it on the inside, looking for that double into the ball in. Saka... Tried to go across, and what a team goal for the sixth. Oh, imagine. Goes for the volley. Yeah, okay. That's going a bit too cheeky. No one scored a rainbow flick goal in a long time for me. We've got plenty of outside-of-the-box goals, but in terms of rainbow flick, we're, we're not talking very much there. Does manage to hold on to it, though, nicely. Couple of little steps inside. Oh, tries to win a free kick. Goes for the nail. Ramsdale finally putting up some it. Oh, disgusting. Yellow card. What we got free kick wise? That's something I haven't looked at with him. We have got 88, 83, 84. Yeah, it's, it's not really going chance worthy, but you, you know, you've got to give it a go every now and then. Can we find well, a little bit of curve? Or oh, in fact, do we go for more power? Oh, okay. Let's put somebody in the way there. Let's, let's try it anyway. Very, very unlikely. The stats are definitely not free kick worthy. As we saw straight away back out, he's spat in his face. But can we? No, we've lost the ball. Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, Makaleli won it. Oh, but he's found him right in here. Keepers out by any chance. Finds the ball over to Mbappe. And what a save from Ramsdale. 
Well, what an absolute performance from him. So the question is, is he still extinct? And the answer is yes. So I wonder, is actually any sold or we got, yeah, we've got nothing at the moment. I could imagine there's probably a couple that have gone from obviously a sniper. If you've got him, people will put him up for a million because realistically, if we look at all of the other future stars, they're most definitely not going to go for that amount of price. Mudrek's nice because he's had the five-star weak uh, skill move upgrade. Obviously, he's got the four-star weak foot normally. Alvarez is 2.2. Other than that, we've got Adiemi who's 7.30. Looks a very good striker. We have Gavi, who's got a lot of hype behind him at 8.85. There's not going to be a huge amount of hype behind all of these future stars. And normally, they tend to be packed quite a lot. You might have people with extra packs kind of saved over, but that's really about it. So, he is coming in as and I could imagine very high priced because of the hype around him. And obviously, I think his first or first two matches for Chelsea. But it'd be interesting to see where he goes. And obviously, does he manage to get a team of the season this late on? Very, very unlikely. Maybe a community. Maybe in, in footies he might get something. But most definitely for right now, might be a, his only card at the moment. He has come up, obviously, from a 74 rated, which again is always perfect for a future star. And has got some very, very good stats. The composure is the number one, really, that, that could definitely do with an upgrade. But I find it with a lot of these future stars. Everything gets pumped in. 20 ratings here, 15 ratings there. But the composure always stays relatively low compared to the rating. We don't see much 90 pluses. It might just be this card and it, it literally could be every other single one has got 90 plus on everything. But normally that is the case with a lot of these future stars throughout the three, four years they've been doing them. Other than that, He's exquisite. Great pace down the wing. Skill moves nice. Agility is beautiful. Got a solid pass on him. Shooting is great. I think this card is definitely a stunner on the left mid. In terms of other Premier League left mids, we obviously have a Rashford, Son, Salah. Uh, Alvarez can actually be a left wing as well, which is always interesting. And I'd say that's probably about it. You obviously got Saka as well. If you had a right, a right mid already, Saka is absolutely wicked down the wing. So he is definitely an investment. But in terms of left mids, he comes in at a very, very top end. I think he's one of the better ones that you could definitely put in your left mid. That is if you haven't got a uh, team of the year icon Ronaldinho, which I can't imagine a lot of you do. I kind of wish I did. But in general, good card, solid future star. I knew that he would be as soon as I saw him announced. He was definitely going to be it. 10 out of 10 for me. Let me know down below what you think and make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one.